What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at all missing loot believed to be in the game or coming real soon and a few things that may have been removed. Now many other YouTubers have made videos covering all exotics that are missing so I've decided to go one step further and cover everything not just exotics. But we will be starting with the exotics that are believed to be coming soon or may be hidden somehow in game now. And the first piece is the Astrocyte first. Now this is an exotic helmet for the Warlock. Now this helmet was seen in a few Taken King trailers way way back but it's still a secret many months later. The exotic perk reduces blink cooldown and increases travel distance. Moving on and we have the Aphibian aspect which are Warlock gauntlets. Now as far as I know we've only seen one piece of in-game footage of these gauntlets but we can't see the full design of them. Now on the bungee armory we can and these things look absolutely amazing. The snakes on the shoulder look epic. Its exotic perk is called Viper Totemic. Improved energy drain and weapons ready and reload very quickly. Moving on and we have the Hunter exotic gauntlets. These are called the Shinobi's Vow. I do believe nothing of these things have been seen but they are in the bungee armory and it's basically the only info we have on them. The exotic perk is called New Tricks. Improve skip grenade and you gain an additional skip grenade charge. Next up we have the Phagomizers. Now these are Titan Gauntlets. And like the previous exotic, not much is known about them. All we do know is the design of these things are very similar to the design of the gauntlets worn by Primus Taron, one of the Bun brothers. Whether that specific strike will have anything to do with how these things are obtained, no one is for sure. Next up we have the Titan leg armors called the Doom Marchers. Again, nothing of these things have been seen and all we have is the bungee armory. The exotic perk is called Speed Demon. Increased sprint speed, increased movement speed while aiming your weapon and tighter turn radius while sprinting. Next up we have Hunter exotic leg armors. These are called the Frost EE5. Again, nothing of these things have been seen. Their exotic perk is called Rapid Cooldown. Tighter turn radius while sprinting, increased grenade and melee cooldown regeneration while sprinting. The last exotic piece missing are the Warlock Leg Armors. These are called Transversive Steps. Now we did see a little snippet of these in a trailer way back but again it's all we have seen. The exotic perk is called Strange Angles. Gain faster movement speed while crouching. Picking up ammo automatically reloads the weapon matching the ammo's type. Okay so we're going to move on from the exotics and go on to other things believed to be in game but at the moment the info on how to obtain these things is pretty scarce. We have an armour piece called the Hood of Malak and it's a Hunter legendary helmet. Now all we know about this thing is it's supposed to drop from a certain strike. Now there has been many theories on these things, many believe it's a drop from the Fogoth strike while others believe it drops from Omnigal. The Omnigal strike to me makes more sense due to the fact there is a Pulse Rifle obtainable called the Grasp of Malak which has dropped for many people on many occasions. This being called the Hood of Malak leads me to believe Omnigal is more likely the place where this thing drops. But to be honest, if it was in the loot table to any strike surely it would have dropped for at least one person by now unless there is a certain action that needs to be done to unlock it, who knows. So moving on, now let's take a look at the shaders which are available to preview in the shader kiosk. But it seems they are so rare, little to no one has claimed to obtain any of them. Okay, so we have 9 shaders I believe in total. 3 that are supposedly available to drop in that Crucible playlist. We have 2 that drop in Crucible and Strikes. And we have 4 that drop from Cryptarch packages. Whether or not they're in the loot table yet is another question as I've never seen anybody with any of these shaders. We also have two missing emblems. Both are obtained from Cryptarch packages and again both have evaded our grasp so far. Moving on, now many of you may already know about this but many of you won't so it's definitely worth adding. There's a ship that's route to uncover is still not known. The ship is called Fatal Vision and it's obtained via a Taken King quest. 
what that quest is, we are unsure of. Now, I have left the best until last, and that's weapons. Now, none of this has been confirmed, but we who saw these know what we did indeed see. I will note, though, before I go any further, that Luke Smith did tweet out saying some things never made it to the final game. So these could be on that list. Interestingly though, the weapon which he tagged in his tweet was not one of the ones I'm about to show you guys, nor was it seen in any of the Taken King early trailers. Now when indeed the Taken King trailers first did come out, many people including myself searched for the most minute details of new things coming. Now I ain't saying I was the first to spot these, but I do think I was one of the first, if not the first, to cover them in a video. So what are the weapons? While we all know what the Thunder Lord is, interestingly, in the first few Taken King trailers, we saw two weapons that many at first, including myself, thought was just the Thunder Lord, but under closer inspection, it appeared that they were not. Although identical in design, what we were seeing though was two weapons identical to the Thunder Lord, apart from the fact they seemed to offer different damage types. One being solar and the other seem to pulse void. So what are these weapons and where are they now? Well they're not any reskins of any weapon we've seen in game until this day. So where are they? Could they be a part of that list Loot Smith talked about? Who knows? But guys that is the missing loot I believe to be in the game or coming soon. And a few things that may have just been removed. I think I've covered most of them if not all of them. But if I haven't. Be sure to let me know what I missed down below in that comment section. Also let me know if you have any theories on any of the missing loot mentioned in the video. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did do drop a like I do appreciate the support. Subscribe for Destiny videos and I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many of y'all the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.